Hello there everybody, it's Sally here and welcome back to another Tuesday Teaching Tips. Now today is all about what your pupils bring to your lessons and by that I mean what, what do they have going on in their lives, what hobbies do they have, what do they do when they're not at their piano lesson and also thinking about how you can use that in your lessons to really good effect. So last night I had um, one of my teenage pupils come along and she's about to grade six anyway and it's her last lesson before her exam you know it, it could be an opportunity for really digging in and really refining things and getting things better and better but i know that actually if i did that it was just going to create a really heavy feel you know oh goodness and get them even more nervous so um in the one of in one of those sort of lovely ping moments that you get in teaching sometimes uh, I know she's a reader and so I said well what books are you reading at the moment and um, she told me which which book it was and I said and does does it have a hero or a heroine and it turns out that it had both so I said okay tell me tell me about the heroine what, what kind of character is she and it turns out that this heroine is quite bold and adventurous so okay so can you play and this was after she played quite a tim scale could you play that scale as your heroine would play it how would she play it would she play it like that and of course she can people immediately turned it around and out came this bold vigorous lovely sounding confident scale um and so it all developed from there really and we were playing the pieces in the in the style in the character of this heroine and, and then we talked about the hero and it turns out the hero is a bit more um what to call him she said he's, he's the negotiator um a little more calm a bit more gentle and you know, we looked at the pieces and we could find the hero and the heroine having a conversation between in this classical piece of music you know quite bold statements with some of the phrases and then more gentle pleading statements with others and you know she went out of her lesson with a big smile on her face feeling confident and you know with this idea that the hero and the heroine were going be on her shoulder and helping her in her exam um, and it was it was really interesting how transformative that simple idea was and I had the same sort of thing the, the week before where I had a young pupil who who is still struggling really to play with uh, lovely soft quiet arms and it turns out that he likes starting and he was reading his Formula One magazine I think I might have mentioned this before but um, so we we discover he likes karting, and when he's karting, he has to have really soft arms so to hold the steering wheel. So that sense of playing with a soft arm immediately he could relate to so much easier than me using all the metaphors and analogies that I had been until then, and not finding anything that really really worked and switched on for him. And there we go, talk about karting, talk about the softness of the arm, and there he was playing the piano with the same soft arm so find out from your pupils about what they're reading what some of their interests are what it is they relate to and what you can actually make connections i suppose that's what it's about isn't it making the connections so that you can use things that they have already experienced in your piano lessons and you'll find that a it brings lots of humor but it brings quite a deep sort of sense of, of the understanding and being able to make progression from it. Okay, so I can see Marianne's watching. Hi, Marianne, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've all find that useful. I'm going to mention one other thing before I disappear, because um, I've been listening to some of the Classic FM podcast with David Williams. And a good old chuckle, very childish, but very wonderful. And um, there's a great one out there about the piano. And uh, we've created a worksheet because I thought my pupils are going to love it. And hopefully yours will as well. So we've created a, a, a worksheet, including questions like pianos are made out of lots of, and then they have to tick the box, tiny spanners, hammers, or screwdrivers. Yeah. So it's, it's suitably silly. But it has also got some really interesting stuff in there. You can find that. I'll post that below in a link if you haven't seen it because we've already had it out last week. But do feel free to download that and use that with your pupils. And it'd be great Easter holiday um, stuff that would be for them to do. All right. Hope that's really helpful. Have a good afternoon.
teaching, good morning of teaching, good evening of teaching, wherever you are in the world. Gosh, I'm very bouncy today. Okay, bye for now. Oh, now my screen's gone.